Okay, welcome back everybody. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to create um, base uh, projected um, in a uh, pictorial view like an isometric. Uh, in addition to, I'm going to be uh, also showing you uh, the introduction to how to create auxiliary views. I will have another uh, video tutorial dedicated to um, uh, views like auxiliaries and sections, but today I just want you to get the basics. All right, so as you can see, I have my IED title block A size up. Uh, for this class and um, in order to first go out to create a base view we're going to be coming up into the ribbon in our place views tab and we're going to be saying base so if we come up now and we click on base we can now see that it is asking us which IPT we'd like to use and by hitting this button we have the ability to go out and browse in this case I'm going to be using um, a part that I created for product disassembly in activity 334 I'm going to go ahead and select that. We can see it's a wedge block. We can now say open. Now, we have some different options that are available to us. The first option is the scale. We can see that a one to one uh, for an 11 by eight and a half sheet is a little bit too much. So we can go ahead and scale that down, say half scale. And um, we also have the ability, and this is in another video tutorial, we can go out there um, and uh, we can choose uh, the orientation that we want. Um, and in case we cannot find the view that we're looking for, uh, say we need to rotate something to get the true actual front view, uh, we have the ability to hit this button and uh, change our view orientation. There's a whole other video tutorial about that, so check that out if that's the question. All right, next one uh, we're going to be taking a look at is at the style. Okay, for a typical multi view, you would like, um, uh, you normally will have hidden line um, selected. And um, that's it. All right, shaded will otherwise give it to uh, the material uh, that you've uh, picked for that uh, the, through the color override or through uh, the material assignment and eye properties. But normally for a multi view, we just want to have this hidden line selected. All right, once we are done with that, we can now go ahead and pick, and we can see that it has created that base view. Now, looking up at the ribbon, you can see how automatically it goes into the projected view. All right, so if we just move our mouse up, we can now see that Autodesk Inventor okay, is giving us the projected view from the base view that we've already created. All right, all we simply have to do is pick. And if we move to the right, we can now go ahead and um, create the projected view for our right side. And if we come up here in the top right hand corner, um, it has uh, gone ahead and projected um, for isometric. So we can go ahead and pick that and say create. Okay, now that that is created, we have some uh, options available to us uh, for these. Now we can see that our right side um, is awfully close to our pictorial. We do have the ability to move these. So what we're going to be doing is going ahead, and if you move over here, okay, we can see we have uh, that view that's highlighted in this red dashed line. Okay, if you uh, move around a little bit, you can see this icon come up. Okay, and if we pick and drag, we have the ability to go ahead and orient those views and align them. Okay, and we can spread those out just a little bit. Okay, now obviously you're trying to keep in mind, um, you know, giving enough room for dimensions, notes, and so on uh, for that drawing. But right now you can see we have our front, top, and right side view that have been created. Uh, they're in the correct uh, uh, type of shading. We have our hidden lines. Um, exposed. Okay, normally with, with a uh, pictorial like an isometric though, that's normally shaded. We want that to, um, to appear to be uh, what the human eye would see. So in this case, I wouldn't want, um, I wouldn't want to be uh, showing up as, uh, as a wireframe. Uh, we can see that the hidden lines have been removed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and actually change the style. Okay, where that will be shaded and say okay. And we can see now that that's what the human eye would truly actually see. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we have done our base, our projected, as well as our pictorial, um, just uh, by basically starting with the base and uh, uh, Inventor took over from there. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at auxiliary. Okay, so in order to create our auxiliary view, okay, what you're gonna be doing is coming up into your ribbon under the place views uh, tab and selecting auxiliary. You're then going to come out and you're going to be selecting the view that you want to create an auxiliary from. So in this case, we're going to be creating an auxiliary view of the side that we see right here. Okay, we can see that that has been chamfered from the front view. Uh, but what we actually want to uh, uh, to show is actually like uh, where uh, this uh, excuse me this counterboard uh, hole is actually going to be placed um, on that face because we have really 
would have a difficult time uh, dimensioning that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select this view. Now it's going to be asking us to identify which surface or which face. So we're going to go ahead and uh, indicate this. Now before I do that, you can also take a look at um, the view identifier. Um, if you have multiple uh, auxiliaries in a set of working drawings, you can change those and do those in order from you know, A, you know, alphabetical A, B, C, D, and so on. You have the ability to change the scale as well as the style. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and have it match what we see in our uh, base view and our front view. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select that face. And I'm going to go ahead and just move this out and go ahead and place that. Now, since we placed that auxiliary view, we're going to have to do some shuffling around um, of, our, uh, of our base and projected views. Uh, so once again, we can come in here. Okay, we can pick that. And then if you also notice on the projected views, we do have the ability to uh, increase this distance as well. Okay, as well as we can increase this distance as well. And then we also have the ability to just simply grab and move our pictorial if we need to. But it looks like we're still running out of real estate. Um, and let's say we can go ahead and drop that scale again just to make sure everything fits. We can double click that. Okay, drop it again. Let's say go down to a quarter and say okay. And since these are all associated together, um, we can see that those have all been scaled down. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work out that well. In this case, I would definitely probably not use um, an A size sheet for this type of drawing. I'd probably increase it to a B size um, because just switching down to quarter, they're way too small. Okay, but anyway, it gets the idea across of how you can go out there and create your base, projected, pictorial, as well as uh, an introduction to auxiliary views um, in an IDW.